Good evening, I'm Francine Belson, and tonight I'd like to tell you a feel-good story about us Silicon Valley engineers. As you may know, this month marks the 30th year observance of the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster in January 1986. But what you may not know is my part and our local educational institution's part in, according to the San Francisco Chronicle, quote, turning that awful memory into a symbol of hope. To wit, a lapel pin representing a local science program for minority youth had been given to one of the Challenger astronauts who had agreed to wear the pin aboard, on board and promote the program from space. After the explosion, divers were dispersed to recover as much as possible from the shuttle's wreckage for analysis. And lo and behold, the items found in that ast astronaut's flight bag was the pin. By a circuitous route of cooperation by NASA, Silicon Valley officials and engineers, the pin was subsequently returned to the local area schools from which it had come. Now that's the Silicon Valley I know and love. The cast of characters? Well, the program was California's MESA program, Math, Engineering, and Science Achievement, for minority youth. Administered by San Jose State, it's a widely supported program by companies like IBM and Lockheed. The school whose students had given the pen to the astronaut was Milpitas High School. And the benevolent Challenger astronaut who agreed to carry the pen and wear it into space and to say a few words about the program, none other than my dear friend and former classmate, mission specialist, Dr. Ronald E. McNair, who had invited me to the fatal liftoff. On the first anniversary of the explosion, there was a formal dedication program held at Milpitas High School, where NASA returned the pin back to the schools. The pin itself was embedded into a plaque, now on display at San Jose State. Similarly, a large granite memorial was unveiled by the seniors at Milpitas High School. The dedication program was attended by NASA reps, an astronaut, the San Jose State uh, President, I see Gail Fullerton, and others. As a minority engineer and supporter of MESA, I was asked to give a speech intended to console yet inspire the Milpitas High School students. With your permission, I will read a few excerpts from my remarks to the high school students. I'm gonna ask you something <coughs> right now. Imagine that you are high school students in the auditorium, and I'm about to speak. I'm gonna put on the jacket that I wore that day. <coughs> Space show, the you're here. Students, where were you in 1971? I was in a special grad student program at MIT designed to increase the number of blacks in physics. Ron McNair and I were two of three new students in the program that year. There's an old saying at MIT that tech is hell. And it was. We endured the rigors of study and mind-bending exams. How can I explain to you the excitement of doing physics? quantum mechanics, special relativity, group theory, stat met, atomic and molecular. Several years later, Ron McNair and I were both working as engineers in California. Ron entered the NASA astronaut program and later encouraged me to apply. He said, Francine, they're really looking for minority females. So I applied. I mean, I've gotten in, but I applied. Something else we shared in common. We were both frequent speakers to student groups like MESA, where we both preached the same message. As individuals, we can be scientists and fulfill our obligations to society. Now that's the kind of role model you students 
should aspire to emulate. Well, that's the end of my excerpts and my slides. Just a little Silicon Valley history I thought you'd like to know. How a pen from a local high school, from local high school students, made its way to the heights of space, to the depths of the ocean, and finally from east to west, back to the California students who had sent it. What a testament to the cooperation we share. My fellow engineers, please know that we can all stand proud of our humanity as Silicon Valley, as Silicon Valley engineers. I know I do. Thank you.